welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel good to talk to you once again and the sales is on black friday 2023 this video is most for the new players who probably does not know uh, a whole lot about which ship are good or which uh, ship are uh, mech you know do not spend a, a lot of money i will definitely uh, uh, have my honestly opinion uh, with the ship that i very much uh, enjoy to play and uh, seriously guys uh, of some very strange reasons some very strong good looking ships uh, are removed from uh, the uh, armory and premium shop and probably i'm just saying you have um, limited options to buy some ships only you know with some minus 30 percent and very dependent of of course how much money or if you want to spend any money in this game there is very fast i would like to talk about this uh, black friday premium containers which only give you 12 percent chance to, to get a, a ship do not bet that if you let's say purchase for 1250 instantly you get a, a, a brand new ship never gonna happen if you only if you have extremely luck so it's only 12 percent uh because the the most chances are to get silver free experience and some others what are called expandable bundles that's what it is you know credits and and uh, free experience and stuff like that um so there is also uh, as much as 12 percent chance to get a uh, premium ship uh, so it's up to you this is a gamble or wh whatever you want to uh, to do it's it's your choice I very much like to say there is a better choice and of course guys I very much like to talk about the reason I want to talk about those those ships um, sure uh, some other uh, players they think they the most damage most fun you can do in tier 10 and tier 11 and uh, the answer is not so much uh, you think only if you play to tier 10 you will do most damage and most kills uh, it's for me it's the other way around tier 7 and tier 8 in let's say operation and some other types of uh, missions and some game modes you can do uh, crazy uh, amount of damage with a tier 7 or a tier 8 ship so for that reason I believe the lazo it's a great Pick. if you do not want to spend a lot of money if you enjoy playing tier 7 she's a great great uh, cruiser uh, one of the probably one of the strongest tier 7 cruiser but remember guys it's up to you if you are a cruiser main uh, because otherwise you probably would think that uh, Thurpitz B and Brandenburg B it's also a good choice I'm not saying too much there is options that you can just play your Bismarck and you will do just fine if you like those type of brawlers and you know but uh, once again there's nothing wrong with the German battleships they are a lot of fun and if you have the money yes they are all worth it uh, on the other hand I do have Napoli uh, and I very much like to say that she's a lot of fun and in the near future uh, the Napoli will be even stronger with the uh, rework of captain's build and captain's points so yes Napoli is a strong but not as strong as uh, you want to say that she's worth 30,000 doubloon for me it it isn't because I purchase her uh, with other resources not real credit card money you know what I mean this is exactly what you need to do um, but on the other hand there is one ship that I very much like to talk about and there is the mains mains ladies and you say you already have this ship I cannot buy it but uh, can I see it very fast I like to say the mains it's strong but why is the reason I highly recommend this ship is that it has one of the highest DPM of all tier 8 cruiser in this game however I highly recommend to buy her if you have Gunther Luches you see um, the Gunther Luches together with the mains makes her not twice as strong three times as strong 
because if you let's say playing uh, in random battle or some operation and you receive like confederate you know you have enough damage or hits i do believe it you need to do like 200 hits or some things but you'll do 200 hits trust me like the there isn't the one's business and then the gunter luce uh, reload i don't know how fast but it's i do believe you reload like stupid four point something second with 12 guns so then it's absolutely a dpm a monster i cannot come up with one cruiser which you can do more damage uh, and more more fun more everything so do i recommend this bugger hell yes i e even purchased myself and i do not regret once again she's strong but with gunter lucia it's oopy as all hell especially in some operation and some other types of uh, not necessarily i'm not saying that she's strong in random battle because then kind of struggle versus tier 9 and tier 10 uh, but uh, overall she's after all a cru cruiser but a good one and probably the same story you can say with everyone but there is one single uh, ship there very much like it's OP and very very strong you know it's bad luck for someone who does not have time i didn't have time or um, opportunity to buy alaska alaska for me it's nine and a half uh, tier uh, what i'm trying to say it's by far one of the strongest uh, tier 9 cruiser in the entire game it's a lot of fun and probably some this um, new type of mode a uh, game mode in the next patch probably alaska and Ager and some other uh, so-called super cruiser it will be extremely effective and uh, very strong uh now is it she worth sixteen thousand three hundred fifty? i don't know guys for older players uh, i do believe this used to be coal or free experience i kind of forgot i do believe it was she was a coal ship and you know coal you can save your coal and just buy her I don't know if he really is worth 16,350 doubloon, it's up to you, but is she a good uh, purchase? Yes, the answer is yes. She is a very, 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 very strong ship. And one of my favorite tier 9 cruiser in the entire game. Uh, yes, it's she's that good. Um, and all because of the guns, but her her size is big, but she's very very nimble. She, you turn on a dime. I can definitely can show you some uh, game uh, play with her and and so on. Definitely can show you uh, that the, it is worth it. And probably same story, um, very fast. Cossack, I like to say, and also Kaga. Kaga. Most of the premium or UPS all has, but very much like to say if you if you are a destroying main and you want to buy the best uh, cap. Uh, destroyer at tier 8 uh, you know try to cap everything you are the mother of all caps sure you have a weakness and the biggest her weakness it's actually only one and there's AA what AA you have zero AA literally the 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 one who's spotting uh, um, air, aircraft carrier can stay the entire uh, 20 minutes and you probably will shoot if you have lucky one single play in 20 minutes it's so ridiculous by AA. otherwise she does not have uh, any weakness the best uh, concealment <clears throat> She has a speed boost, uh, she has great firepower, or you name it, and uh, this uh, British smoke. So, yes, she is worth those money. Uh, I buy my, um, it was a special offer, my Cosa cost only one US dollar. That's the amount I paid. It was a special mission and then I got this Cossack for free. I love my Cossack. It's the best tier a destroy in the entire game if you ask me uh, so yes there are a lot of good uh, looking ships and the same story with you can go with atago there's nothing wrong with atago atago it's a great ship great uh, um, japanese uh, trainer uh, though her only downside and that it's absolutely the only one you have to wait 16 seconds until you reload your your main guns that's the only downside not quite a dpm month but however 
she is very stealthy, she is very agile, and uh, torpedo power are fantastic, and HE power are fantastic. Do I like my Atago? Hell yes, but once again, I receive by completing a mission uh, RP Takao, which is an Atago for free. So there you have it, guys. Uh, let me know in a comment below what you think about the 2023 Black Friday.